video, we are going to look at the next subtopic under retail mathematics, which is markdown. So to understand what markdown is, uh, it's actually the you know the the opposite of markup. All right. So never mind. Okay, let me show you the overview of what markdown is. Right. So before this, we learn about markup, where if we have a cost, the cost of uh, something which is one hundred, so we want to get a profit of forty ringgit. So the selling price will be RM hundred and forty. So we have to add the cost plus with the gross profit. So that will be the selling price. But now, so, but now this part will be called as markup. Maksudnya kita ambil untung. Kan, untung sebanyak RM40. That one is markup. So now, bila barang tu dah tak laku, contohnya sekarang ni macam PKP kan? Alright. PKP tu hari tu ramai orang tak membeli kan? Orang tak boleh nak keluar. Jadi sekarang ni kedai-kedai banyak buat sale. So untuk menjadikan orang membeli banyak, dia mem mestilah melakukan sale. So that sale kita panggil dia sebagai markdown. Alright. Markdown. Okay. Katakanlah harga sekarang RM140 SP. Alright. So, kita nak buat discount katakanlah kita nak nak kurangkan harga katakanlah kita nak kurangkan harga sebanyak RM30 so the new selling price will be RM140 tolak RM30 will be RM110 ha, tapi cost kita kena ingat cost nak nak markdown kita tak boleh lebih daripada cost ini alright tak boleh kurang daripada cost maksudnya kalau kita nak kurang sebanyak RM30 ni boleh lah supaya harga dia RM110 dan RM110 mesti lebih daripada cost tadi ok kalau lah kurang harga daripada cost tadi rugi banyak lah kedai tadi kan ok baik so that's the overview what markdown is markdown basically is sale lah so This D ni boleh diberi dalam bentuk percentage lah. Kalau percentage D kecil lah. Alright. So now let's see um, two questions on this subtopic. Alright. A shirt uh, at shop A was not sold for a very long time because of its price. Which is okay. Sebab mahal sangat katanya. Okay. So this is SP. Dia kata that one is SP selling price. RM258.90. The owner of the shop is planning to have a sale with 46% markdown. So this is D kecil. So D kecil which is 46%. So you have to convert to decimal. You give, it will be 0.46 so what will be the new selling price so the formula will be given by new SP right which is equal to SP 1 minus D kecil okay so this will be RM258.90 ok 1 minus 0.46 ok so you can use your calculator RM258.90 you darab dengan 1 bracket 1 minus 0.46 alright so it will be RM RM139.81 ok so sekarang daripada harga RM258 dah turun kepada harga RM139.81 nah, so that is markdown ok baik next one a selling price of a machine is RM900 so that one is uh, SP right selling price is RM900 Uh, given a markdown of RM178, uh, so that, mean one, that one is discount. So, RM178 turun harga. So, what is the new SP? So, this formula will be the new SP. In this case, but the category dalam bentuk D besar, which is RM. So, kita formula SP tolak D. Okay. So, in this case, will be 900 minus 178. This one will be... RM 722 ringgit. So harga lama 900 ringgit, harga baru 722 ringgit ketika sale. Okay, so that's basically what mark markdown is. Okay, now we are going to look at the uh, website of Zara Men. Alright, so because uh, I nak shopping, I tak mampu lah nak membeli masa Zara ni mahal harga dia. Eh. So saya membeli masa sale sahaja. But sometimes in the website dia ada yang dia tulis special price lah. Okay, so let's say we have this. Um, Uh, what do we call this uh, texture uh, what do we call this texture um, uh, texture check suit blazer ah, ok so kita ada blazer tu alright saya tunjuk eh. ok I'm going to show you the calculation here alright so ok seperti yang kita sedia maklum alright so harga yang uh, kalau kita tengok dekat situ dia potong harga harga sebenarnya RM499 so I'm going to write here RM499 yeah? ni ni live eh, dekat website eh. ok RM499 dia potong dia kata 50% off so this one is SP alright So that 50% off is actually D. D kecil adalah 50% off, right? So 0.5, okay? So dia nak, nak nak tahu berapa harga baru, okay? That yang warna merah itu, okay? Ah, that warna merah. So new SP, right? New SP will be given by uh, SP 1 minus D kecil, okay? So this one will be Uh, 499 ringgit 1 minus 0.5 okay so RM okay you use your calculator 499 1 minus 0.5 this will be RM 200 oops sorry uh oh hmm. we're gonna go back here dah lari dah uh, dekat sini kan hey. where is it ah uh, this one alright okay so we have uh, kalau tekan calculator 
for 249 ringgit 50 cents but now dekat website 249 ringgit only ok bukan dia salah kira maksudnya dia kurangkan lagi 50 sen untuk you ha, so pergilah beli time sale saja jangan membeli time tak sale lah ok ha, so you boleh kira lah kalau you tak percaya eh alright contoh saya nak kira yang ini alright hmm, saya tak sure lah calculation dia tepat ke tak eh tapi biasanya dia lebihkan lah untuk awak eh ok for example we have this slim comfort fit chino trousers ok um, kita punya harga SP is actually RM169 dia punya discount sebanyak R, uh, sorry discount sebanyak um, 40% ok 40% which is 0.4 so to calculate the new SP always formula SP 1 minus D alright so you will have 169 1 minus 0.4 ok so 169 1 minus 0.4 will be RM 101 40 cent sepatutnya tapi dia jual dekat you 99 ringgit 90 sen saja. Ha so untunglah kan. Sebenarnya lebih daripada 40% lah dia punya off ni. Alright. So the idea is like that. Okay so I'm going to show um bagi idea sikit macam mana you nak kira dengan cepat nak congak eh. So let's say you pergi dekat kedai you ada harga baju katakanlah RM200. Okay dia punya sale alright sale dia dia kata sale uh, 40%. So you ambil terus 1 tolak 0.4. Okay dalam kepala you kalau sale 40% so harga sekarang ialah 60% daripada 60% daripada uh, 200 ini. Okay. So, yang ambil lah 0.6. Okay. Sebab sale ialah 0.4. So, harga se sekarang ialah 0.6. Selebihnya 0.6 lah supaya jadi satu kan. So, yang ambil 0.6, you darat dengan 200. Okay. Ha, you nak cepat, you gerak titik lah. Okay. Mula-mula 0.6 darat 200. Okay. Darat 100 dulu kan. So, jadi 6. Sorry. Ha, gerak 2 titik ke kanan. Alright. So, 0.6 gerak 2 titik ke kanan. 60. Lepas tu 60, you darat dengan 2. So, sebenarnya RM120. Cepat lah. You kena congak lah sekarang. Dia pergi kedai. Kalau dia kata sale 50%. You bahagi 2. Okay. Kalau dia kata sale 50%. Let's say I have 100. 20 ringgit dia punya harga. So, sale 50%. So, dalam kepala you, mesti RM60. You bahagi 2. Okay. You kena cepat. Kena bahagi 2. Kalau you kata uh, dia punya sale RM. Katakanlah RM100. Dia punya sale... Um, sale uh, 75% okay so uh, you terus uh, bahagi dengan 4 lepas tu darab 3 uh, you kena buat some, uh, sorry you terus bahagi 4 sebab harga dia sekarang 25% saja daripada tu okay terus bahagi 4 okay uh, you kena cepat lah uh, so that's it you kena cepat bila you pergi ke kedai jangan kena tipu especially ketika sale lah alright dan satu lagi you kena ingat uh, tak semestinya barang sale itu sebenarnya sebenarnya sale alright kadang-kadang kadang-kadang um, contoh eh hari biasa dijual RM katakanlah 100 tiba-tiba uh, ketika sale dekat tagging dia letak RM100 dia turunkan harga RM100 uh, sorry RM99 padahal harga sebelum sale pun RM100 je uh, so ni biasa berlaku semasa raya lah kalau saya semasa raya nak beli kurta tu kan uh, saya tak belilah kalau kurta yang harga RM70-80 tu saya akan beli selepas hari raya sebulan dua bulan selepas hari raya biasa saya akan dapat tiga kurta RM100 sebab orang tak beli dah lepas raya orang beli sebelum raya so berbelanjalah dengan bijak pandai-pandailah berjimat jangan duk membazir sangat alright thank you Thank you.